G'day guys, this week's podcast is brought to you by Bloke in a Bar Beer, the best beer to have in any occasion. How fucked say? is that that this podcast is brought to you by Bloke in a Bar Beer? It, it is pretty cooked. I, um, I'm, I'm stoked that it is. Had a few blokes on the weekend myself. How many um, a few right now? Yeah, having a few. I, I enjoy having a few blokes. Uh, often. Often, as often as possible. Yeah. Maybe a bloke and I. I can't get enough. Yeah, that's my favourite thing. It's just blokes on blokes on blokes on blokes on blokes. There's a few people that reached out over the weekend as well and said that they uh, indulged in a few blokes for the first time. There was actually a frothy in Melbourne who said he managed to track it down. Really? Never had it before and he loved it. So, uh, See, that's awesome. So you can get bloke anywhere around the country. and You know how you can do that? How, Josh? Tell me how. Jump on the blokeinabar.com and chuck in your fucking postcode and you'll be able to see exactly where you can get bloke in a bar. Is that not... The technology's there, just like, but it's simple. Do you know what's even better? What? It tells you if you can get it on tap near you as yeah. well. Yeah, and you know where you can get it on tap? Where? The Mighty Caxton Hotel. Fucking oath. And you can grab a carton of it on the way out as well. Yeah. So, big thank you to uh, Campy at Bloke in a Bar for getting around us, because we get around you. Uh, everyone, if you're going out there and getting around Bloke in a Bar, make sure you tag us and Campy in your stories, and uh, just enjoy it responsibly. Us. Thank you for getting around us. Thank you for getting around him. Thank him for getting around us. And, um, yeah, you're always going to remember your first bloke. Yeah. I know I remember my first bloke. Yeah. And it was... There's uh, been many since then, but... It was wedged in between me and Dar, so uh, <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> Go to blokeinabar.com. <laughs> that was actually fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit loud. Can you have a listen? You got words on baby. If you're watching, it's a bit new this week, yeah, we'll but it's still the same. Welcome back. This is Band of the Week. Who we got? Avenue. A-V-E-N-Y-O-U. Some scat spelling, but I like it. This is their song Erratic. I think we're about to go off here. Yeah. Happy Friday. Tell me what you want, tell me, tell me what you need. No one never need another one, learn anything from me. Now you say do, and you know I'm gonna change. Tell me, baby. Tell me what you want. Tell me, tell me what you need. If you need a song to get you fucking keen on a Friday, play yeah. erratic. Yeah, fucking hope. This will be right up Jackson Buckby's Avenue, right? It would be. Avenue? Very up. Get it? Very up. <laughs> Very up <Arctic> monkeys. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, I like it. That's Once great. Once again, we have not had a bad band of the week. No, we never will. Welcome back to On the Pierce with Klutz and Das. And today we've got, as we said the other day, Dostradamus joining us on both the Wednesday and the Friday pod this week, mate. Yeah. How are you? Mate, I'm excellent. How are you? I am spectacular. Thanks for joining it's great us. to have you back on. At coming to you podcast live from the Caxton Hotel. Yeah, for the those of you who pub. don't know, Dostradamus is the bloke who's took a shit underneath the Eiffel Tower. I think we've covered that off previously. Yeah, we what an introduction. Bring it up every yeah. Time. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. Coming to you live from the Caxton as per usual. And yep. I love being at the Caxton, but Same. it's been a long weekend and it's been three long weekends in a row. Mm. And I cannot get wait to get home and tuck into my bed because I know that my lad collective sheets are on Fucking and no, ready mate. to go. They're clean. I washed them today, put them on. The thing is, washing the sheets and changing them used to be a pain in the ass, but with the Lad Collective, labelled corners. Why is it not? Handles. Yes. Fitted sheet has an indicator for the middle bottom. You cannot go wrong. It takes two seconds. It's simple and they're great quality. If you fuck it up, you've definitely had a few head knocks and yeah, you need to yeah. fucking if, wake if up If you're fucking yourself. up these bed sheets, like, you need serious help. I don't even know where to go, where you would go for such a thing. No, but, I, I don't know either. But if... Not to bed. Not, not to bed. You wouldn't be able to go to bed. We, you know when you've had a concussion not to go to bed. But <laughs> if you <laughs> want to experience these sheets for yourself, BBB20, we get you $20 off your first order. The boys at the Lad Collective have been amazing in sponsoring the pod, so make sure you get around them. Get around blokes who get around us. So. Exactly right. And they'll get around you in bed. Yeah, exactly. If that makes sense. It, they're so, it's, it's good for cuddles. It's great I actually, for cuddles. Fuck, Saturday night, I'll get into it, but um, I definitely passed out in the Lag Collective Sheets at, uh, at the Missos place, and it 
she was taking selfies on my phone of me. Oh. Just passed out in the sheets. I've been... <laughs> they're just... It's impossible. As soon as you hit them, <laughs> see ya. <laughs> I'm going to have to get her to send some of those through. Yeah. If you're listening, Caitlin, send them through. She's definitely not listening. She hates the sound of my voice. <laughs> <laughs> she puts up with me enough, bro. Can you imagine if she fucking listened to this? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What about me, yeah. though? I don't get a choice. Yeah. Sorry, dude. Anyway, that's okay. It's all good. We must also thank our other sponsor, Trademark. Big shout out to Trademark. The new guys on the block. Um, we're stoked t- for... For the support from them and to uh, get around them as well. Um, 110%, mate. It's uh, Trade Mudders by tradies for tradies. That's what we love. And they've got their free... Can't really see it behind me, but um, keep an eye out during the pod if you're watching on YouTube. They've got their free uh, mental health service that you can call or text anytime. Um, so, as I think you said last week, it's just nice to see a brand giving a shit about people. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's really good. So, you know... Um, Work can get stressful, life can get stressful, so if everything's ever feeling a little bit too much for you, these guys have a free chat line that you can get onto and talk to a a real counsellor for free. And plus, they also make amazing workwear that um, is all about starting a conversation on the job site. You can see we're both um, wearing some. It does look sensational. It is great. It's functional as well. Like I used it, did a bit of yard work this weekend, so I used it. Feel the boys from Run Club said that you could even probably wear it out as a going out shirt because they are that fucking sexual yeah. so and yeah when you are one of the only blokes or the first bloke to rock up on a job site with one of these and people haven't seen it before they start fucking asking questions you start conversations and bada we bing, just bada boom. keep going baby so and uh if yeah. it wasn't already easy enough they've made it even easier because they got the same bloody discount code bbb20 we'll get you 20 percent off your first order with trademarks so uh especially if you're a tradie jump on there they've got heaps of kit um if you're like myself and more of a white collar worker they've mm. got t-shirts they've got hats um but i still think everyone needs at least one shirt like this to wear to bunnings i always feel like yeah. a fuck with rocking up to bunnings Fucking in like oath. birkenstocks in a t-shirt so it's yeah. nice to put my feel, high vis yeah. on and pretend like awesome. i know what i'm doing i hey bud where's lo- the line for the snags <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing better than rocking up to bunnings in high vis yeah, like you exactly. just feel so because like people also won't pester you yeah which can be a good and bad thing i suppose but uh yeah, massive, uh, once again, yeah, massive shout out to Trademark. Yeah. Big thank you. How was your weekend, boys? Yeah, good. Good. Long. Highlight Long. was good. definitely watching Jeeps on Saturday with yeah. Josh. Yeah, fucking nice. That was awesome. Um, I was a bit disappointed to start my weekend, though, if I'm being perfectly honest. Yes. Why is um, that? Little Norths. At, uh, little Norths. At Sh- <laughs> little Norths. <laughs> little, the little baby eagles from uh, Shore Road. Um, sorry, I'm just seeing if I had any other notes. Fuck, just running out of things to talk yeah. about so early. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, nah, so Friday was meant to play footy against Norths for Mighty Sixth Grade. Got the message about 9, 10, 11, 12 o'clock. I literally could not tell you because I was hard at work at Pimpama. Pimpama. Um, also, really weird, just a segue. Every time I saw Pimpama, I just kept, like, in my head, the way I've been saying it is, Pimpama! <laughs> and, like, every time I keep driving the up fuck? there, really weird. <laughs> <laughs> that was a snort. From that's going to be on repeat. Oh, my <laughs> God. Clutchy just snorted at his own unfunny joke. Yeah. It's, uh, it's I, was about to say, I was about to say, that's probably one you should have just kept to yourself, bud. Yeah, well, <laughs> glad I did it because there we go. There's something else to come from it. Um, before we get into the footy, actually, I just did see on my notes. Um, I stopped at the servo. I forgot if it was Thursday or Friday to fuel up. Yeah. Um, because it was a lot cheaper than down in Brizzy. I think it was like a dollar sixty nine, which is still fucking painful. Yeah. Anyway, I've walked in to the ampole up there at uh, Pimpama, not LA, the other way of saying it, and um, <laughs> I saw like on the way in there was all these A four sheets of paper stuck to the window. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's weird. Didn't really think of it. I was got a couple of chalky bars and a, a can of Coke for the drive home because it's fucking ages from there back to Ashgrove. Your diet. I was going to say, you're a picture of health, Josh. Yeah, but tell you what, can keep going. Can we just Tick quickly up. cover off last week? Uh, when was it? When? Oh, before the podcast. So Josh had two litres of milk on the podcast plus a beer. And then I got in the car and the drive home. He's like, fuck, I had Maccas for breakfast and lunch today. <laughs> that is no good. <laughs> so you had Maccas twice and then a beer and two litres of milk for dinner. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, not good. But anyway, um, <laughs> some people are built different. Obviously, I am. Sorry, continue. Um, yeah. Anyway, I had a look. I counted it when I got back to the car. There was twenty six A four sheets of paper. Any guess of what they were? The alphabet. No. Good guess. <laughs> That's a great That's guess. A great though. guess. So quick. Wow, well, um, I forgot there was twenty six letters. I was going to say something about COVID, but no. It was screenshots of people that have stolen, uh, shit. stolen, no, yeah. that have all fled from paying for fuel. Fuel, right? Twenty six. Yeah, that's as many as there are letters in the alphabet. Yeah, exactly. After Clarkson left, there was twenty seven. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, but I was like, holy fuck! At what point do you try and sort that out? How yeah. do you have twenty six different cases? Do you reckon that's something from the Super Rugby trying to bring down the major sponsors of of the uh, state of origin? Maybe they're like, fuck, we're going to bankrupt Ampol. Yeah, it's you, like, you could you could be onto right. something. Yeah, it's a bit of a conspiracy theory for well, you. Well, look, Super Rugby are fucking cooked in the head. Yeah, that's really what they that would be resorting doing. to. Fucking like, what else are they going to do? The marketing pigeon is just standing up there, just having a look. Probably would have been a brrr. subject for the uh, sports pod, but yeah, Wayne right. Bennett has extended a relationship to. Nudgy College. Yeah, uh, scatter. The Redcliffe Dolphins. Not yeah. even the same coach. NRL coach. Um, yeah. Anyway. The yeah. Rugby Union. It's do. fucked. But yeah, anyway, um, North's forfeited. So Friday night, I don't think I really did much. Oh, so yeah, I went over to Caitlin's mum's place for dinner. That was nice. Fell asleep on the couch. Um, her sister and her mum just thought I was adorable sleeping. You are adorable. You should have. Um, so that was quite nice. Should have come to the, the art show that I went to. So yeah, so was so that Friday? Sounds a bit weird, but tell you what, if you want to drink free piss, go to an <laughs> art show. <laughs> Only you would sniff out the free oh, piss there. Mate, so. That's they, so good. They had about 100 bottles of Prosecco, and it's oh. just unlimited for three hours for free. So oh, shit. You just, you How just much do you have to pay to go in? Nothing. It's free. Oh, what? Yeah, it's an art, like an art opening. Exhibition so thing, yeah. Is the plan to get your piss so you buy art? I think so. Well, and I reckon <laughs> you're like sitting there just drinking yeah, so like, going, I got yeah, no money, yeah, so yeah, yeah. jokes yeah, on that, that ten thousand dollar painting. Yeah, I can. <laughs> you're the worst. <laughs> you're the people that they see coming like yeah. this guy's not buying any fucking art. You know, um, can I get two proseccos, please? I think people genuinely would go to art openings like around to get pissed. The city just to get pissed. It's it's not a bad play. I think we should start looking into this. And you feel like a bit of a, like proper art aficionado with yeah. a little glass of prosecco. And yeah, mm. you went straight from work, so you was kind of like um yeah like a bit dressed yeah. up, like long pants and boots on and stuff. I'd love like like to go like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some, some of the people you see there though, you, you yeah. can tell they're they're arty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> arty. Fuck that. Um, <laughs> fuck that. Yeah, fuck that. But yeah, so uh, Friday was pretty chilled. Um, Saturday played fifth grade for, uh, for the boys against East. Come on, tell yeah. us about your try. Yeah, Come now. On. We <laughs> have a counter. We have, we, I think the line for Klutz was five for the year, yep. four and a half. So I got, got four to go. Yeah. Um, this is fuck. So one of my best mates, Matty Hemwood, no, yeah, him since I was six. Stat. This is a fuck stat. This is actually fucked. So since I've entered Colts in 2013, every single game that his dad has refereed of mine, <laughs> I've scored a try. On average, he referees me twice a year. So on average of, and like it's not just like I've scored multiple tries in some games that yeah. he has ref. So I've scored a minimum of 18 tries in nine years when he's been my ref. Yeah. And before the game, um, we got Alex Heinke is our captain. And Channel 9 News man. Channel 9 News fame And he's come up um, He's chatting to Paul And then Paul sees me Paul and Edwards he, dad Yeah And he's just like Oh for fuck's sake Not this bloke again And I'm like Hey oh, Having a joke around And he goes Alex Every single game That I've refereed of him In senior footy He's scored a try And I really hope It ends today <laughs> Now Funny thing Before I sc- oh, First off I was playing loose head prop Which I can't fucking do anymore. My back was so sore. Yeah. I've, after three scrums, I've done a couple of hit ups, um, done a little bit of work, but I was I was a bit gassed. But I came out of the second scrum, I was like, "Fuck this, this is hurting." Third scrum, put a bit of a hit on just before it. My shoulder was feeling fucked. My back sore, and I've just come up honky. He's like, "If you're no good, go off. We got plenty of reserves." I was like, "Fuck yeah." <laughs> Put my hand up. We had three prop reserves as well. So I was like, why the fuck am I playing prop when I'm not a prop? Yeah. Oh, I've just come off and blown. They're like, what's wrong? And I'm, like, I'm not a fucking prop. Fuck it. Oh, I just blew up. Extraordinary. Really unlike you to lose your temper. Yeah. yeah I know. I was gonna say, for all the listeners out there, Clutchy seems so soft and lovely. And he is. He's a great guy. But I've never seen a man just flick the switch more <laughs> yeah, than anyone like, than Clutch on the footy field. Like, I like to blow up. <laughs> um, it's, it's, a, it's my venting. Um, yeah, so... 
They were like, all right, is he going to be sweet for the second half and put you back? I was like, yeah, I'm not fucking playing prop again ever. Fuck that. I'm not a <laughs> fucking fuck cunt doing that again. Like, I was just blowing up. Like, yeah, 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 sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, so I thought if I don't go back on, the streak's over. Yeah. And then they were like, are you good for the second half? I was like, fucking Get me out there, coach. Get me yeah. back out there. Um, one of the boys made like a 60, 70 metre break. And I was like, this is my chance to get the try. So fucking, he sprinted down. He's being tackled. I've called for the pop. He couldn't get the pop away. And he's gone to place the ball. Now, I didn't think it was a knock on. I just thought he placed the ball. But Paul called it a knock on. It was five <laughs> metres out. And I've picked it up and I've jumped over in the corner, scored. I'm celebrating. Paul's gone nut knock on. I was like, you are fucking kidding me, Paul. <laughs> And all, it was in front of the East bench as well. They're all fucking pissing themselves laughing. And then, um, anyway, the game kept going on and I was like, I have a limited opportunity, a yeah. limited time to score. We've made another break. I got close and I was like, yeah, this is my fucking time. So I've just gone, boom, crashed it up, kept running, was falling short. Now, usually in Union, when you get tackled, there's someone directly in front of you going for the ball. Yeah. I think everyone was just fucked at this point. So there yeah. was no one. And you're allowed, what, one movement? Yeah. So I've just gone, oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> and just fucking reached out, put it over the line. And I just start screaming and I get up. Paul's blown for the try. I didn't know it was me. And he goes, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> he just, the referee's upset. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's what you need. He was, he was just quickly. so upset. But um, And then we're in, the scr- we're in a scrum a couple of minutes later. One of the East boys goes, oh, we're going to hear about this on the podcast? I was like, yeah, fuck fucking no. Oath, boys. 20 in. minute segment, boys. We're going to get a breakdown <laughs> of exactly what sort of line I ran and at what pace and fucking Oath. But yeah, scored a try. We got the win. It was awesome. Four to go this season. Four to go this season. Um, at least. At least. So, and I'm going to be disappointed in myself if I don't get that because if I'm playing on average two games a week, yeah. I don't know, maybe another 30 games this year. <laughs> 30 tries. Yeah. That's 30 games, 30 tries. Right, the Ryan Pappenhausen of Jeep 6th grade. Fuck, imagine that. <laughs> Just as quick as well. <laughs> Just as good looking. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. And the same neck routine. I don't know <laughs> yeah, if you saw that video. That was fuck. so that funny. Was so weird. But um, yeah, it was a good day down at Jeeps. Uh, a few of the boys, shout out to Tommy Smith and Jolly Bygraves, had their 100th games. And um, Big Bab Weary had his 200th game. So it was a pretty good occasion. Um, Doss came down for Prem grade. Our Reggie's played fucking awesome and pounded them. <laughs> Um, and then our first grade got up. It's hard. It's hard to beat local footy at Moss. Fucking a. Doss came into the glue factory, which I know in the past when he's um had his misses with him, Shannon, he has stayed away <laughs> stayed from away. for good reason. <laughs> yeah. Holy fuck! There's no place for anyone's misses. <laughs> there, there was a point I think when Eden came, we were like <laughs> sitting there and we were looking at the um at the the game review or the the guide to the game. So yeah, like all the, the match list. Yeah, yeah, match game. Yeah. He's like, "What are you doing?" Like, oh. Just trying to find out like the names and then like find them on Facebook and find out like I don't know Shit family members them. or relations yeah. or something like That's that. That's fucked. The, the yeah. poor winger yeah. on the left wing for Easts, Max Baker. <laughs> <laughs> There's he. Max Baker and Shane Kennedy. Uh, they were the wingers, and then uh, he, the tr- fullback who we kept saying doesn't look like a footy player and is a weird looking dude. <laughs> um, Taj. <laughs> I think his name was brutal. Yeah, so it was coming from you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was. It was just so. But this Max dude, tell you what, uh, if there's anyone from East, pass this on to Max. Good looking bloke. Yeah. He had spectacular arms. The biceps are looking good. You can tell that he goes in and just does the curls. Um, good calves. I think great quads. I think I know more about it. His girlfriend than him from the chat <laughs> that was coming from some yeah. Of so people really <laughs> delved into it. So what you're um, saying is, if you play prem grade, put your Facebook on private. Yeah, <laughs> fucking oh, change your name, delete Facebook even. Yeah, if you're playing in front of the glue factory and you're a winger, get fucked. You're yeah. in for a terrible day. And um, it's even better when they get shown up directly in front of it. Like at the start, he was sort of like laughing and stuff. And by the end of it, the he end of the first it. half, you could mm. tell he was so off it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the chat was incredibly brutal. We've got a few army boys down this year mm. Mm. and they've just increased it. Hundred and ten. Well, just taking it that yeah. like just step like, further. They hit fuck different. yeah. They <laughs> lose <laughs> cannons, bro. But then um, we had the baptisms. Kicked off about 6 p.m., so an hour after Prem's. And um, it's funny, all the boys were like, all the fellas getting baptised were shitting themselves about what was to come. But it's... it's You're pretty intimidating, Josh. Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> it's just like, you hear about like hazing and stuff like that. Ours is not 
a bad thing at all. It's just a bit of fun. <laughs> and um, there's myself, one of the Dangerfield twins, um, and Noddo. So I was dressed up as a uh, as a pope. A pope. I got dressed up as the pope. Step up this year, so man. So I had uh, these white robes and then a red thing on top, a fucking hat, and then like a big stick. <coughs> so that was pretty cool. I suppose um, they found a pope costume that big. Yeah, same. And as uh, Danger gave it to me, he's like, that thing has seen some shit at kick-ons. Oh, so it wasn't a brand new one. No, oh, oh, fuck, no. That's disgusting. Yeah, no, there's a... I'll try and find the few question of stains. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, Did this get worn by a real Pope? There's there's this... F- I'll see if I can find this specific photo. It's so funny. Um, we might post it if we can. This is the Pope costume I wore. Oh, my God. <laughs> so this bloke, Danger, big bad Tommy... Um, Oh my god! Dressed up in a pipe with a couple of uh, girls praising him. Nice. So I don't know. I'd seen some action. Um, that would have been an interesting yeah, afternoon. Had that, and then we had like someone. Uh, Tommy was dressed up. Or Matt, I always forget because they look exactly the same. Um, dressed up as a brother, not as a priest, and we were just. Unfortunately, we ran out of piss, so the only piss oh. we had left was uh, 150 lashes for the boys to scull, so that was oh. a bit fucked. But nice beer, but like, bro, fuck. Mm. Locked it, the, the thing that I forgot about baptisms, it's not incredibly cold yet. Yeah. You're locked in a change room with like 100 blokes yeah. with the windows closed so outside can't see. Yeah. And you're in fucking three layers of clothing. Hot. Holy fuck. I genuinely almost passed out and yarked. That's disgusting. And not from the alcohol, just that because disgusting. of that. So <clears throat> it was fucked. Um. But yeah, uh, did that for a bit, had a couple of beers after that, and then um, ended up at Sunnybank for dinner. Very nice. Um, Fuck you love Sunnybank. It's so good, bro. But Caitlin uh, got offered permanency at her school, so we went to celebrate that. Um, so I was, I was a little pissed. Definitely couldn't drive. What drink did you have with dinner after drinking beers and rums all day? It was the uh, Choco Supreme. <laughs> what? It was like a... Blended chocolate milkshake thing. Holy frappe. fuck. I thought you were going to say it was like a cocktail. No, no, no. no. It like, was like a chocolate literally. frappe and it was fucking big and it was so After tasty. After drinking beers and rums all day. That's yeah. Yeah, tell you what, it was good. You really are built different. Yeah, yeah I am. I Your am. guts, I would love to. <laughs> we need to perform an autopsy when you finally <laughs> fucking cark it. Yeah, right though. Yeah. Be, pff, I don't know scientific, if you want to, Scientists will be like fucking mind blown. Yeah, built different. 110%. Um, yeah, and then, fuck, I don't think... I've, Obviously, did the markets. We yesterday. did, obviously, yeah. We did have some pretty somber news what this is weekend. It? Oh yeah, pull one out, pull one oh, out. Oh fuck yeah! So um, as we know, everyone, I I want to read the message you sent, but I don't know if I'll be able to find it. On uh, oh, that's probably has it saved in his notes. No, I don't think I do actually. Cutsy text. I'll be me able to find it. Just being like, get ready oh, for this. Get ready for this. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Has it been announced? Yeah, yet? there we go. I think it sort of got announced last week. Yeah, I sort of started to say that we were getting there. The, um, the BBB community is in mourning. Yeah, there's there's an update on the Maserati. I think the community, the wider community, is in mourning. Yeah, not just the BBB. Anyone community. that's ever been in that car or around it or seen it on the road is in fucking mourning. It is. It's this is fucked. But um, message the boys. Um, I think it was Thursday, Arvo. Yeah. Friday, Arvo. Yeah, Friday, I've been trying to work out how to say this and didn't want to do it over Messenger, but... And then, l- and then I just hanging didn't, for so long. Didn't send anything for about 15 minutes. I was like, uh, in 2016, the Clutterbucks acquired a Blue Master 6 2006 model. The car was driven by Annette for some time until being passed into Joshua's hands. This car was a dream at first until one fateful weekend, water started seeping in and rendering it a... Uh, Steaming pile of shit. Dad Dad will not like that. It's not a pile of shit. It's a great car. Uh, Some would give up on it, but Joshua wouldn't. It's provided countless lifts and rides and memories from Ewok dance parties on the way to Star Wars midnight screenings to Ryan becoming accustomed to cockroaches crawling through empty food bags. The lack of air conditioning was always a great trait of the Maserati and provided many sweaty memories for many sweaty boys. On the 26th of April at 6.15am on the F-Switch motorway, tragedy struck. The Mazda Beta slash Maserati started to rattle, splutter, and go bang and came to a grinding halt. With smoke billowing from under the hood, I feared the worst. Being towed to a servo, I had hoped that maybe she'd fly again, but fly she will not. She's home and safe and sorry and will forever sit in the driveway slash undercover garage of the Clutterbucks household now. Long may she rest in peace. R.I.P. Maserati, 2006 to two, uh, 2022. Too long didn't read, go Jeeves. <laughs> we really should have put a, a warning at the front of this podcast yeah. that this, some viewers might find this content disturbing. Yeah, yeah. That just that ruined my Friday, if I'm I, honest. Yeah. I must admit, I drove into the car park and I was like, 
Where's where? Oh, Josh where isn't is here yet. It's and gone. Then it dawned on me. It's hard to come to grips. Yeah. Maz is not there anymore. So what's the plan? Are you, you driving the Prado for a bit? Driving the Prado for a bit. What's the long term plan? Um, because the Grub. I don't know if you saw, but the Grub reached out and yeah. his his sisters are uh, selling a car. Yeah, right. But it's manual, so. Yeah, no, nah, I do have a, that's the thing. My dirty little secret, which I think I've already revealed on here, I don't have my manual license. Yeah. So I just need to pick that up again. But um, don't really have any time to drive around manual to learn it again. So. It's just not if the I, same. Yeah, so um, I do have a ute at home that I could potentially, if I could get off my ass and do it. Um, if if anyone's got. But, a second-hand Mazda that like leaks and has yeah. food scraps all over the floor, like clutches shit. in the market. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I do want to give a quick shout out to one of the frothies, though, Brad Dowling. He messaged me after the potty. Yeah, um, he's an auto electrician, and he offered to come fix it and have oh. a look at it. Um, That's sick. Which I was like, "Fuck, thank you," but unfortunately, like the engine's blown beyond help. Um, yeah, so. it's it's going to cost a, it's going to cost more than what the car's worth to get it up and running again. So, um, there is a, a friend of Dad's who lives a couple of. Um, houses down who is potentially selling his Hilux two seater Hilux automatic. Yeah. So potentially, I think we get should give. Instead, what are you going to do with the Mazda? Well, at the moment, it's going to sit in the our uh, in the our uh, undercover garage, and we're potentially going to try and just leisurely fix the engine and see if we can get it going again. Yeah, right. I was going to say we should but do some sort of live stream and get on the piss from the back seat or something that would be <laughs> as a farewell. So fucking yeah. funny. Yeah. Yeah. We try and think of some, when something's on or something. Like when we're doing yeah. the next merch run or something, we'll yeah. go, that car. go live. Maybe, oh, <laughs> I haven't brought this up with Darcy yet, but <laughs> I've, um, one of the blokes from Footy Spook has been saying that oh, we need to do this and organise it now for the end of the year. Yeah. And it's a nude calendar. Yep. A BBB nude calendar. Uh, with the car, surely. So maybe we could do some Feature, stuff with the master. Yeah. Maybe we can get the bonnet up in the like one of the months. Ma- what month you was can, it? You April. You it went make, in April. You hey. can make yeah. them. You can make them at Kmart. So we could literally just make them and then mm. resell them to people. Yeah. See, that'd be great. So I'm thinking if we do a nude calendar, maybe we get the Mazda and we get the bonnet up and it can be nude and it can be <laughs> April. <laughs> Dars, how do you feel about that? <laughs> I'm not fucking getting nude for a calendar, but. If Josh wants 12 nude photos out there, then it's fine <laughs> well, by me. My dick's not going to be in them. My ass yeah. might be. It'd be pretty funny if we like picked out 12 moments of the year. Like, bloke's one ship. It's just bloke coming in your yeah. cock. Hank Hill. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Shout out, Dan Ryan. <laughs> Car dies. Merch run. Like, I'm sure we could do 12 things. Clutzy scores his fifth try. It's just yeah. you in a Jeep's jersey and nothing else. Yeah, it'd be great. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's the end of my weekend. <laughs> <laughs> now, I had a pretty fucking... Book, chill weekend just did things around mm. the house and kept mm. pretty quiet but you've probably noticed by now good friend Eden is on the podcast and mm. he had a little story from <laughs> the previous weekend that we wanted to get him on last podcast to tell it but um it didn't work out so we thought we'd invite him back this week to enlighten us on yes. uh, how to survive a swim in the Brisbane River <laughs> Firstly, I wouldn't recommend it. For people who don't <laughs> live in Brisbane, the river is fucked. It's like it's literally called the Brown Snake. It's full of so bull sharks. Beautiful. Like it's fucked. Mm. Like, it's the last place I would swim. Yeah, yeah. especially at midnight. Um, <laughs> oh, you know, you just have some have some drinks, and you know, when you have drinks in Brisbane, the river's always there. It's always close. <laughs> it is um, it's nice to look at. Yeah, it's nice to look at. You know, so yeah, just had a few drinks. Went back to Kick-Ons at uh, someone's place who. Like with them, they, t- they live right on the river. Must be nice. Must be very nice. Um, but obviously, we just had the floods. Um, and I'd, I had noticed that their backyard, that was right on the river, their uh, pontoon had actually floated away during the floods. <laughs> and I don't know, something caught my eye. And I was like, Let, let's go down there and have a look. Um, so it's midnight at night. Um, yeah, I've, I've opened the gate. I've, I've just, I'm like, I'll go, go down and have a look where the pontoon floated away. That'll be a good idea. Um, Keep in mind, I've got the phone torch on. Can't see a thing. Very, very dark. Also um, legally blind. Yeah. Also had about thirty beers. Um, so you, you got the ramp that goes down to the pontoon, but it's basically just a ramp straight into the the brown snake now because the pontoon's gone. Um, so I was like, I'll just go down the ramp a little bit. You know, I was, I was very, very inquisitive. <laughs> just thought mm. I'd go have a look, a close look at the brown snake. One step onto the ramp because they'd just been recently flooded. The ramp, everything is covered in mud at the moment. <laughs> Took one step on the ramp, bang, ass overhead, <laughs> flicked the phone in the air. It's, it's gone. It's, it's gone in slow motion. Like you, you turn and look and go, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, phone, the phone's going through the air. I'm ass overhead. I'm on me back, and 
at that stage, I've hit, I've hit hit the ramp and I'm on my back and it's muddy. I've heard this doink and that's the wa- that's my phone going <laughs> going, going, in, going, in, going into the Brisbane River and I'm like, fuck, I'm never gonna find that. And I've just started to slide because it's so muddy. <laughs> And I'm, I'm sliding, I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. And I'm sliding, I'm about to slide into the river. And I've grabbed onto the side of the ramp that goes in the pontoon. <laughs> Half of my body's in the river. I'm just dangling there like shark bait. And I'm like, oh God, this is, this is probably about one in the morning. Um, it, it just felt gross. And I'm like, everyone else is still up at the house like normal people having drinks. And I'm like, <laughs> help, <laughs> help me, please. And, and uh, I thought they might have thought I was taking the piss and I was like, I'm serious. <laughs> Somebody I'm, help. I'm in the river. Yeah, I'm in the river. So, and then one of the boys like just sprints down. Shannon, my missus, is pissing herself. <laughs> she could not give a shit. She's videoing me, like pissing, laughing. Um, and because it's so muddy and I'm clinging to the side of it, the boys have had to like form a chain to get me up, holding onto the side. So they've had to like drag me up out of the river one by one. Um, and I, at this stage, I'm covered in mud. Like, it's just, it's gross. And I stink. I just, and I'm like, fuck, my phone. So they started dragging me and I'm like, no, 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 boys, 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 hold up my phone, my phone, my phone, my phone, don't, don't leave me. I've looked down, looked to my right. I could just see a little bit of light poking through the water. I'm like, oh my God, that's me phone. So I've, I've gone, just let me go, boys. And I've gone back into the river and it was about up to me, my nipples probably. Um, and I'll tell you what, I've never felt anything as disgusting as the bottom of that river. Th- you think about mud, just it, it's just something else. And oh. I, I reckon I was about ankle deep in the mud. Oh. And I've had to reach down, just kept, the water's probably at my chin and I'm like, I'm not putting my head under a iris, I will probably die. So... And I've reached down, I've got my phone, the trusty old iPhone, best endorsement ever, survived, yeah, survived the river, just gave that a wipe, shit yeah boys, we're fine here, turn the torch off, and I've traipsed up through the mud to the bank, I've looked down, and the thickness of this mud is like nothing I've ever seen. <laughs> I feel so sorry for people that flooded, because yeah. this is something else, like the mud was caked on thick, like from oh. RMs up to the top of my polo shirt. I was <laughs> so you had your fucking shoes on. Yeah, my, RM, my, RMs are real, my RMs are completely ruined, but I, I was like, I look like a, I'm old Greg. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, and I've got out and the, the, the girl's house we were at, she wouldn't even let me like go inside for a shower. So I've had to strip down to me jocks and get in the pool. <laughs> and it, and it, it, we're getting pretty cold now. Really. Like, it's probably, probably like 15 degrees. Yeah, so, night, yeah. Um, yeah, so I've jumped in the pool, rinsed off, um, and then the the best the best part is this girl who who was hosting us. She um she used to sell vintage clothing, so oh, I right. had no clothes left because they were completely ruined by the river. Um, she's like, "Hang on, I should be able to sort you." So she she brings out a, another polo shirt for me. It was like Tommy Hilfiger, pretty nice shirt. I'm like, mm. "Sweet." Then she brings out these jeans, <laughs> and they're like '80s style jeans, like with oh. the flares. <laughs> And they're like really long and hanging off the end of my feet. And then she's brought this belt that's too tight for me. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there in these jeans and this belt and just going, what am Fuck. I doing? So I've, and then I have to get an Uber home looking like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I... That is so fucked. I didn't catch any diseases, which is nice. Yeah, that um, we know of. Because I've, I've, I've read stories about like a bloke that dropped his beer in the, the Risen River yeah. and grabbed it like a second later and drank it. And then you got a flesh-eating bug from it. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And like stuff like that. So um, there's a lesson, kids. Don't go near the river at night. Yeah, um, it's very silly, uh, but good stories. So, yeah, <laughs> great stories. Do you know? Do you know something else? What? I oh, know about why you know there's all these different diseases and shit in there, and, and the Brisbane River is a scary place, and there is a big reason why. Why is that, Josh? Well, obviously, we do know more about space. We do than we do about the, <laughs> the ocean. ocean. So we don't know what's in there. We know what's out in space, but we don't know what's. We in have there. no idea what's in the Brisbane River. No idea. But we know more about what's in space than what is in the Brisbane River. Fuck. So it's fucked. Um, about it. I I got home and like, like I had to get the pretty much the pressure hose to clean clean my RMs because the, the mud is, was so thick and they're still no good. Hey? Um, yeah, like scrubbed them, cleaned them, and then. Like a day later, came back and they had like spores growing on them and shit. Yeah. And I'm like, Fuck. I'm probably never gonna be able to wear these again. That's so Fuck, shit. Um, that's costly. That's it's a costly yeah, slip. Yeah, I know. Um, that's yeah, the one the one thing that can can kill your RMs. The Brisbane yeah. River. Fucking <laughs> mate. It was uh, it was pretty funny though because I remember I was still out at this point because this is last Friday. Yeah. Or Friday before, sorry. And I'm, I was out, and then got this message at whatever time it was. And it was just like rambling messages from you. <laughs> yeah. They were like, what the fuck is going on It's pretty funny because I like think it came through at like two o'clock and yeah. I, I was in bed and then I got up at like 
seven thirty the next morning and I read Eden and it was like he explained what had happened, but it was like a bit patchy. Like he was obviously pissed when he yeah, said yeah. it. And Boys I was like, in river. I cannot wait until this prick <laughs> wakes up and has to fucking retell the story well, like properly. I woke up in bed the next day and I'd gotten home and had a shower and everything after I'd gone for a swim to wash myself. Woke up in bed the next day and I still had mud like oh on bits of me because it was disgusting. just so thick. I That's couldn't get fucked. it off. That is so fucked. Um, yeah. My missus tells me I stink when I get home at the best of times, let alone when I've been swimming in the fucking Brisbane River. I just stink nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> I currently stink at the moment and that's something else I wanted to touch on is because uh, we did Run Club today. And you today, did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, Clutzy <laughs> with the fucking I fucked up. excuse of all excuses. Uh, I don't have shoes because I don't have my Mazda. right oh bud. So I keep my, my shoes in the Mazda and I had forgotten that uh, the, the Mazda, Mazda was dead Mazda's and dead. I wasn't driving it and then I keep everything in that fucking car. Including your lunch. But yeah, yeah it's um, <laughs> today's that we're recording on the 2nd of May and uh, we're doing the May 50K um, raising money for MS Australia. We, just between us, we know a handful of people who mm. are affected by MS. So we're keen to get out there and raise as much money as possible for a good cause. So two things you can do to help us. One is if you want to join the team and do the 50K, you can do that. Linked, the link will be in our bio for both of these things. And two, if you can spare a few dollars to donate. Yep. We've got a BBB team going. There's, I think there's about eight or nine people on there at the moment. So hopefully we can get those numbers up and uh, mm. raise some serious funds. If everyone that's listening to this pod gives a dollar, we'll have a shitload. So. Big shout out to the wanker from Warhope. Yeah. I believe he did like a big $100 donation. He which did. That was a massive. couple. Thank you couple. so much. It's very generous. So um, Let's see if I can pull it up. Yeah, it's, it's a great cause. As Dar said, like we all are probably like a handful of people between us that are affected by it. It's a fucking shit disease. And so we're doing um we're doing run club at the Caco every Sunday, so you can come and we just do half an hour laps around Suncorp Stadium and then yeah. follow it up with a few beers. So go at your own pace. But yeah. these people have donated so far: Lewis Thompson, Lewis Thompson, Boondle Butchug, Nathan Jones, Oscar Maguire, the Watcher Wanker, as Clutzy discussed. Tom, I don't know how to pronounce that. You're gonna say McDeer? Yep, great and boy. Jason Turner. So yeah, so thanks, guys. Um, yeah, we really do appreciate it. So I think, um, please do not quote me on this, but uh, last year I know when Sterling was raising money for this, he said that if the donations keep up the way it is... That, that was me. I was talking you, to... I yeah. can't remember the time frame, but at my old job I was talking to the bloke from MS Australia and he was saying that um, researchers are saying that if they get sufficient funding, they'll be able to cure MS. Mm. I think it was like in 60 years, which is yeah. pretty crazy because we'll probably all be... Within our lifetime, lifetime. Probably, yeah, yeah, mental. Which is so fucked. Great cause, get behind it. Um, and 50K sounds like a lot, but... If you break it down in a month, it's not that far. Especially if you no. come to Run Club, we'll, yep. you'll knock almost it's less half than two k's a day. Exactly, which is fucking. Literally, I worked out I could run to the end of Ashgrove Avenue and back to mine, and that's yep. like almost two k. Apparently, yep. I'm a bit sore today though and stinky. But anyway, yeah. get around, get around that. Both the links will be in our bio. Lads, Australian Autumn is here, and luckily the sponsor of today's podcast, Manscape, are here to make sure the leaves are falling off your tree as smoothly as possible. Their fourth generation performance package, which includes their signature lawnmower 4.0, has all the tools equipped to keep you calm and collected through all weather uncertainty. Yeah, look, Dars, that is certainly true. Fellas, footy season is upon us as well. We Thank have all God. four Thank codes God. coming back. And of course, you want to have your package on full display when you're having a shower afterwards. Absolutely. So what's better? Get your manscaped out. Make your little fella a little bit proud. The boys might even have a look and go, tell you what. Nice cock. She's nice looking cock. a lot better this year. Yeah, can finally um, see it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can finally see it in between all the bushes. Um, ladies as well. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you guys could use it as well. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure you guys do no chairs. It's a great too tool. The Loma so. 4.0 is Exactly. Unbelievable. Everyone can use the lawnmower 4.0. You got to look good in the change rooms afterwards. You got to start asserting authority on who has the nicest looking car. And your performance package will also come with a weed whacker to keep your ear and nose hair under control. Crop preserver, crop reviver, everything you need, you'll be sorted for autumn. It is nice having a nice smelling crutch. So, look, it is time to join the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com where you can get 20% off free shipping with the code BBB20. That's capital letters as well because we are capital blokes. Always remember, lads, when you trim the weeds, the tree stands taller. Exactly right. That's We've been saying it from day dot. Bloody oath we have. <laughs> Mine's just not that tall. Now, something that did happen to me on my pretty boring weekend was I was driving somewhere and there was a police car with a um, radar, like a 
speed gun. Is that what you yeah. call it? Is, yep. that, is that what it's speed camera? Speed camera, that's it. And it was like on the other side of the road, I drove past and I was like, oh, I'll do the good old flash my lights mm. for these people. Yep. And it was on a main road, Murphy Road, quite a long road, and I just kept going. <laughs> and then after a while, I was like, fuck, these people are going to think I'm stitching them up here. Like, yeah. yeah. And I just was thinking, how do you know how long to flash your lights for someone who's going I'm into an on, un, uh, 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 <laughs> oncoming <laughs> speed camera? I'm always terrified that there's going to be like an cops un- down the other side. coming the other way. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Flash my lights. Got a story about that, actually. Yeah. Do, before you do get into that club, do you reckon they plant someone sometimes down the other side? Surely. Yeah, it's nerve wracking. But you've got to do it. Yeah. yeah. If I drive past a speed camera and someone hasn't flashed, I'm like, those people are all fucking dogs. <laughs> so I'm very hesitant to do it because two occasions I've been with um, Matt Hemwood when we were younger. Paul son. Paul son. <laughs> Paul son. <laughs> of Let's Me Score Tries fame. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've, I've been with him and um, Matt's a massive advocate for letting people know about that. We're going around near Stuart home and he's like, oh, I'll flash my lights to the next person. Just goes to do it. Police car comes around the corner Ooh. and he goes, fuck me. Close. The next time we went out and did something, exact same thing happened. So we're just like, you actually can't tell because like, yeah. it's a big fine as well for Is doing it? it, I believe. So, yeah. So it's like, fuck. It's like so a you reckon reward. don't do it? Well, like, I think if you can clearly see what's yeah, in front, yeah, yeah, go yeah. for it. But yeah. if not, fuck. But how long do you think is too long to do it? couple hundred meters surely if you're turning a corner that's too long because the end of the yeah. street that i was going to was turning and all these people were turning onto the road i was like do i tell them <laughs> fuck do no I tell them? Like, that's so <laughs> scat because i get annoyed um there's like an app you can get i think it's called Waze or yeah, Waze. Yeah, yeah. yeah yeah it tells you where cameras are yeah, yeah. Right. or traffic hazards and stuff yeah and you go past and it's like this is reported 30 seconds ago. I and you go past, it's like... I think it depends on the road as well because like going yeah. along Sanford Road. Yeah. Like if someone's going along Sanford Road, the chances are they're staying on Sanford Road for that bit yeah, between yeah, Sanford and Fernie. Right. So right. like, yeah. I, that's where one where I've driven past and done the old flash yeah. headlights and I'm, yeah. I've gone like probably like five, six hundred metres still flashing yeah. because yeah. I'm like, those people are There's still a fair chance. Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the person that flashed me was, it was probably like six, seven hundred metres. Yeah, the other like, way. Yeah, the yeah. other way. Yeah. Like, yeah. But that's funny. They flash you, and you're like, "Where the fuck's this radar?" Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And then mm. you drive past it a kilometre down the road. When I lived at, <laughs> when I lived in Sanford, they used to always be on the range. So you'd like mm. yeah. do people for fucking ages. You're like, "There's a fair chance if people out here they're going over the range," and that's yeah. why people always speed over the range as well. It's fucked. Hence why there's so many fucking car accidents yeah. out at Sanford. Yep, correct. Fix up your roads. Yeah, sort it out. Yeah, fuck. So anything else we wanted to cover off before we get into the... I was going to say, I'm pretty keen to hear the, the froth line. Yeah, I've got absolutely fuck all to talk about. Oh, <laughs> nice. Well, lucky. I think we've been going for like... Um, oh, yeah, we will address it minutes. as well. As you would have seen at the start, if you're watching, um, we've got two headsets, so we're doing a bit yeah. different. As we know, um, RIP Pack Boys at the Caxton. Um, they've left the Caxton Collective. So, uh, um, yeah, big shout out to Connor from After Party and Hotline Fling. Yep. We're using his gear. We've ordered until some our, of our own. Yeah, until our gear rocks up. So, Should be um, here by next week. And we're yeah. going to do a bit of a makeover of where we're currently sitting. Be the same room, but just yep. a little bit differently set so, up. Yeah, Aiden and I will be doing what uh, Jackson and Roz did the other week. Yeah. Just sharing an ear by the each. So, We've um, been very lucky to have the Pack Boys let us use their shit for so yeah. long. It's probably about time that we sort our lives yeah. out. And um, Also, a uh, quick shout out to Friends. Did he get a run on the weekend? Nah, got dropped. <laughs> <laughs> got dropped after a week. Lol. All the boys are back. <laughs> Sucked that. in. Sucked That's what in. happens when you literally rob Brisbane of every spring roll under the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to the Pack podcast today and he said random people have been tagging him in spring roll memes and shit. He's like, this is fuck. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> don't eat so many you yeah. <laughs> Your sweet chili sauce. All right, should we get into this? Yep. All right. Let's Let me know when you're ready to go. Yeah, you grab one. Yeah, this is really romantic. This is awesome. I think we're good. Hey, it's uh, Jed and Boone calling from a free phone. Just finished a Dungeons and Dragons sesh with the boys, <laughs> and we realised we should have T-shirts for our D and D sessions that say our drinking team has an adventuring problem. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to talk for too long, otherwise this might start costing me a fair bit of money. <laughs> don't piss the sheets, give it me. Love the potty. 
see you later. Thanks, mate. Thank you. That's probably my favourite <laughs> free, uh, phone, free call. phone call so far. <coughs> the only issue is you said if you talk for too long, it'll cost you money, but it's a free phone. I so. think that's his joke. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Over my head. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, g'day, boys. It's the fucking Kiwi Outback sheep fucker here. <laughs> Damn, just driving the truck. I was just going through this little town in the middle of fucking nowhere. Just seen the hottest milf you've ever fucking seen. <laughs> Had about four kids hanging off her, so I guess it doesn't make it hot. But uh, anyway, she was uh, using a free phone. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway, boys. Good work. Keep it up. Cheers. Proof that other now, people in the world do use free phones. Look, I'm not one to judge, but maybe if you're going through a small country town, you've got four kids hanging off you and you're using a free phone, perhaps you're um, in between partners and looking for the fifth father. <laughs> maybe you're the smartest person ever and taking Telstra for all they're worth with a free phone. Look, that, that's true as well. <laughs> <laughs> we move on. Yeah. Gentlemen, it's been a while. Firstly, Mill Hunter here. Secondly, congratulations on the bloke sponsorship. Love wrapping my lips around blokes. Thirdly, the only natural progression from here is a men's pilot pilot health membership. I love this shit over school. Get all your health needs online. Pilot health, that sort of thing. Okay. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's, that's not that's not a that's not a paid post. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> He's just done no. the good of his heart for pilot. Yeah. We, that's, that's just Milfans are putting in some good, honest work. Yeah, exactly. We thank him for it. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice again, fucking hell. Fuck, what's going on boys? It's the War Hope Wanker here. Just taking my first shit since coming home from a week away at work. <laughs> Back to War Hope after doing a week out at Inverell, middle of buck fuck nowhere. I just had a question. I wanted to ask Dr. Carl, but every time it was Thursday, I was like, oh, no. Nah. <laughs> we might have to cut this one out. I was going to run it by you. I'm just going to get too scared, and I'm going to ask him how big his cock is, and I'm going to be made to look like a fuckwit on the radio. So I just thought I'd ask you boys. Um, do you reckon the regular human anus is elastic enough to unlay a chicken egg? Like an <laughs> um, um, one? <laughs> I don't know if that's play on or not. Oh, that is fucking hilarious. <laughs> so what you're saying is he wants are our assholes loose enough to shove a fucking egg, egg back up. up? Yeah. Dude, I don't know, there's some pretty fucking scat videos out there on the internet and I reckon that when humans put their minds and their hearts to anything, they can do whatever they can do and their bodies will respond. So, yes, I think that we can uh, suck eggs into our arseholes. I'd be a bit, more, a bit worried about breaking the egg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that was the second part of his question. Yeah. Well... Klutzy sounds like he's speaking from experience, which is... No, no, no. <laughs> Klutzy, no. do you boil the egg, mate? <laughs> yeah, no, not... <laughs> <laughs> well, there is uh. different ways to consume things, but um, I <laughs> look. I'll be, I'll be. I, th- I think it can be done. I've seen videos of people who have very wide assholes, mm. so I reckon stretch it and have I don't a know, back have a crack. Yourself. Back have yourself. a crack. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst that happens? An egg shatters in your asshole, and you've got egg crack. Shell you got egg in your face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And egg cracks in your asshole and then I come around and I've got egg on my face. <laughs> um, I've done that thing where I don't know which one we're Also, up quickly, to. when I was younger, I actually went to War Hope. Yeah, how oh, it's spelt. I thought this was going somewhere yeah, else. It's spelt like how it's spelled. War Chope I, th- I thought it was War Choppy. Yeah. So I used to always call it War Choppy and mum and dad were like, no, it's War Hope. I was like, War lie. Choppy sounds so much better and they chop wood in War Choppy. Klutz. Did they actually? Yeah. We were talking about putting eggs up our asses, and you go, when I was younger. And I yeah, was like, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Out on the farm. <laughs> yeah, that one time at band camp. There are, uh, when any time anything goes near my asshole, I am like a fly swatter. <laughs> go oh, away. Sorry, Caitlin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no pegging in this household, love. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for that. It's good to say. Gentlemen, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. Milfant, yeah. So that, I think that brings us to here. G'day, boys. It's the Wah Wah Goat. Just had a listen to the podcast. Um, feel a bit like a, a uh, Quentin Tarantino uh, film 
where I get to the end first and then I start listening to all the new shit to find out where we're at. Um, keep up the good work, boys, and um, just dropped into the local here on the border, and big New South border, to have two and end up having about seven litres. So <laughs> keep up the good work, boys. I'll keep in touch and... I've got a wedding tomorrow, so what could possibly go wrong? Love you. Now, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure if what he was saying was he's listened to the first one and is calling up before he gets to current or the other way around. Like, he's listened to the yeah. most recent one and working back. Yeah, I think that's what he's doing. Oh, cause I was a thinking, Tarantino film where you get to the end and you work back to the start. Ah, uh, okay. What a champion. That'd what be a, a fucking weird, good bloke. Shout be some out weird to you, shit. Mr. Goat. There'd yeah. be some weird shit that you would hear that you'd be like, where, why what are they the talking about this? Yeah. What, why, how do we know more about space <laughs> than the ocean? Yeah, It'll <laughs> make sense soon, mate. It'll Don't make worry. sense. It's a proven fact. I'm losing my voice again. What's going on, boys? It's the Bundaberg Bandit here. Ooh. Um, so, just come off a couple big long weekends. Broke as fuck, as you could imagine. Took the missile out to dinner tonight. My shout. <laughs> Meet the boys at the pub. They've been slapping the pokies all night. Feeding a 20, $10 bets. Pull out 1200 Fucking cheering. Fuck yeah. I just want to know. What's your best, most legendary pokey win? Cheers, boys. Love the potty. <laughs> oh, thought this was God. quite fitting for you two. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we, we had a good one on um, Easter or Good Friday. That was funny. Yeah. We split the major there. Yeah. Um, mine, mine was with Strangsy at the Stafford Tab last year. Two grand. Oh, yeah, fuck, that's nice. Yeah. That's massive. I think the funniest thing I've ever seen is um, actually close to you, Bundaberg Bandit. Um, a few years ago, we went up to Woodgate... And, um, well, fuck, we go out there quite often. But um, <laughs> we're at the Bowls Club, and I think I've spoken about it before, but there was like four or five of us, and we literally could not lose. Like, every one of us was just getting up. I think the least amount of money that someone got up was 200 bucks. Strengthy got up a couple of grand. It was just awesome. It was just such a good feeling. Conversely, um, we've also had those nights where yeah. not one of us can win. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I thought you were going to say the best was um, when, when we were at that pub that our friends, Miss O's the manager of, and this video of you two <laughs> hitting the yeah. jackpot the Jumping day after. Each other. Yeah, it was yeah, so funny. so good. Yeah, that nothing, um, nothing brings the boys together like a win on the pokies. I never play yeah. the pokies. I don't like them, so I don't have any good stories. I've, I've played them like probably 10 times do in my you, life. Do you remember when you went to the stage of the podcast, we'd give a guest $20? Yeah, for, yeah, for like, one week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you we were like, fuck, we're going to lose so much money. Yeah. yeah. Should bring that back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> back it's not. Just this week. No, shit, no. <laughs> uh, moving on. Yeah. Uh, Harry Pyle was there. Uh, shout out to Dowie Demon. Uh, <laughs> I've got a story to tell you guys. <laughs> One Valentine's Day, my missus cooked cook me a really nice dinner. She lay down on the table. It was really nice. And uh, when it came, when we finished our dinner, I said to her, I'll, 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 I'll pack up the plates. So I stacked my plate on top of hers and uh, offered to wash him up. And uh, I thought, thought in my head, oh, it would be funny to try this thing out. So I pulled my seat a bit closer to her, stood on the seat, pulled my trousers down, went to do a little fart in her face. <laughs> right? As a little bit of a joke. Oh no. <laughs> As I tried to fight in the face, I felt this warm thing run down my leg. <laughs> Turns out I shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> right in her face oh. after she cooked a Valentine's dinner and presented it to me. <laughs> She's still with me two years after. Uh, <laughs> the dummy demon is a cunt. <laughs> the cunt. cunt. Don't give him sheets. Piss the heaps. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> the background. <laughs> marry that. Marry that woman. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> that is so <laughs> fucked. God. That, yeah. That is fucking no. I reckon if I did that, it wouldn't just dribble down my leg. Yeah. It'd fucking come out. That'd be the danger. It would spurt. <laughs> spurt. <laughs> that hippopotamus. Boys, thing. it's Stumpy here again from up Mackay. Um, just saying, fucking. Love the trade, mate. Eh? Love what um, those guys and you fellas are doing about um, bringing in a conversation about mental health and even just starting a conversation about everything. It's fucking unreal. 
um, loved the potty and shit, and fucking live, listen to the cunt off as soon as it comes on. So, <laughs> yeah, that. but yeah, I'm loving the um, the push, getting it about a bit mental health and everything, fellas. I reckon it's a fucking awesome cause, and you're doing a fucking awesome job. So, yeah, don't piss the sheets, give them fucking heaps and jeeps in your cheeks. Just remember, boys, drinking gold and smashing fucking gold. <laughs> Keep it easy, boys. Thank you, mate. Bloody Cheers, oath, mate. Stumpy. Shout um, out to yeah, our sponsor. Once again, yeah, big shout out to Trademark. They are doing a fucking incredible job and a lot more people should be getting around them. So, um, get yeah. your orders in. Get your orders in and get the word out because, as you know, fucking everyone needs it. Next. Get a clutch and the comma R. It's apostrophe, um, but thank you. The fucking igloo dribbler here. Uh, um, fuck me dead. I bet against the Broncos and the fuckers just turn up and bring out a fucking absolute brilliant performance. I Duh, follow Darcy this week Broncos. and I bet on the Cowboys, but fuck me dead. What is it with NRL teams and just fucking going against my tips? I can't win. Fuck my life. Fuck me dead. Um, up the podcast. Fuck yeah to the new sponsor. I bought some of their beer tonight and got on that. Um, yeah. Yeah, have a good one. Night, night. Oh, <laughs> shout out to Harrison Will as well. Fuck, he's a legend. Good night. So I'm saying never tip against the Broncos, um, ever. I'm going to say please keep betting against the Broncos and they'll keep winning. So. Yeah, back the, back, maybe back south this yeah. week. And if anyone uh, is listening and hasn't listened to the sports potty, we have been giving out our, our tips for... Free tips. Free tips, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like those paid tipping yeah, services. Telegram coming soon. <laughs> it's been two weeks and we're one win, one loss. So <laughs> but this week, it's a lock. Tune in. Yeah. I may not go down in history, but I will go down to your sister. But I know one thing's for certain... Friday night this grade at Jeeps at Jeeps give him give him heaps 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 any idea who that was Josh? no fucking idea but I agree <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he said but I agree if that's not an ad for 6th grade footy yeah. I don't know what is 6th grade footy is some of the best footy you'll ever come that's see that's what it's all about actually this week home game against UQ at Friday Jeeps, night. and then no one's playing the next day except first grade, second grade, third grade. So people should come down and watch us. Have a big beer. Come down and get pissed with us afterwards. Yeah. I'm Open go- invitation. I'm going to the beach, so I won't be there. Sorry about yeah, okay. Hey, boys, we just got to Brizzy. Ooh. Fucking May 21st. I just want to know if you know the best place out to go to Brizzy. The Caxton Hotel. The Caxton uh, Hotel. Caxton. Um, also, there's a very good chance that by the time you've made this call, you've probably left <laughs> Brisbane as yeah. well. But for so, next time. Um, hope you had a good day. Felons um, is good if you're from out of town. It's nice. Like, good spot. Like, you know good what? view. I think we said this the other way. The beers are starting to get a bit better. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah but I reckon surely you went to the Caxton. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's where you got to go. There's, if you're looking for somewhere cool and different, check out. There's heaps of little breweries, and there'll be one. Mm. Wherever you're staying, there's... Fucking brews everywhere now. So yeah, like just go to blokeandabar.com. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Cheeky. Hey, this is a PSA to Milk Hunter. Can you please give me some tips, bro? <laughs> <laughs> he wants some tips. That's a laugh So this is basically a call What a joker. <laughs> to what a joker. the Milk Hunter. I wonder if the Milk Hunter could... Posts a tutorial video in the Facebook group, the Frothy's Facebook group. Yeah, Milf, have a couple of beers on Friday and then I'll film that and we'll post. Yeah, get him like a, a scientist lab, you know, like a lab coat, a lab like coat. a white. Yeah. I reckon it'd be pretty funny. I reckon it'd be awesome. <laughs> Hunting with Milf under 101. Yes. Hi, boys. It's um, first time caller here. Uh, pretty, to be honest, short time listener. We're um, uh, finishing up at, um, what's this place called? Um, Grand on Stanley. Um, we're about to go to the valley. So it's um, our mate's 18th birthday. So just want to ask you, um, uh, what's it called? A what's your message for like an 18? What's your um, uh, yeah? What's any sort of opinion for an 18 year old? Um, what of advice? I think. Have a great night, for. boys. Mm. Hope you're having fun at the Caxton. You're probably at the Caxton. Uh, yeah, love you guys. Uh, don't piss the sheets. Give them heaps. 
Set up me, Bernie. Love you guys. Fine Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't know. Fuck. When make we were the most of it. I man, make the yeah, most of it. Sure. Um, I know actually, if you're at uni, it's fucking yeah. so good. Yeah, like nothing to worry Personally, about. when I was 18, I actually didn't go out that much. Um, until you saw the light. Until I saw the light, which was um, DJ Snake it breaking up yeah. with uh, my <laughs> girlfriend. Um, but yeah, after like, fuck, you're only 18 once. Yeah. You're only young for a limited time. Wise words. Go out, right. have fun. If you're arming an iron, whether you should go out or do just something, go out. go out and do something. Also, if you're at uni and you're like, oh, I can't afford to go out, go out on like a Wednesday. It costs like yeah. $3 mm -hmm. for a drink. Go like, for the cheap nights out. Um, also, like, fuck, if you're worried about savings and shit like that, I literally have none. <laughs> like, I've got none and I'm fucking 27 years old, but fuck me, I've had a lot of good times with mates. Um, true. You're gonna you're gonna eventually fucking have and a like you're going to uni to get a job where you're gonna get paid well. So yeah. fucking live it up, have a bit of fun while you can, and I don't know. It sounds real cringe, but create some fucking memories with your mates. I'd also say travel mm. if you can. Probably the fucking best right. money I've ever spent is going overseas. Yeah, if you're gonna save, save to do something fun with it at the yeah. moment. Yeah, shouldn't be saving for a fucking. Oh, I don't know. This could be bad advice, but. As an 18 year old I wouldn't be fucking saving For a house now I'd be saving So I can go Have a yeah. bit of travel Have a bit of fun when I, when And I got my then Once you sort your shit out When I got my first Full time job Out of uni I You don't have to do that now Quite well It's not playing Oh yeah true um, <laughs> <laughs> When I got my first Full time job Out of uni I Went on a five week Europe holiday And spent all of my savings And then Came home yeah. And my brother Wrote my car off So I had to buy a new car So I literally had zero dollars So yeah. It was worth every Save for you Yeah It got if you can go on a holiday with your mates and stuff, unreal. It's fucking 100%. awesome. Okay, no, we're on again. You can go back. Tell me when you're ready. Yeah, we're good to go. Oh, gentlemen, helps if I turn the volume on. Yeah. Hello, gentlemen. It is the brain train, Classy. You know exactly <laughs> who this <laughs> is, Darcy. If you're in this. Glad he said I could be at it. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to let you know that fucking Jets smash fucking ace. <laughs> and the college boys are kicking on, in fact. Clutch did get a great job of fucking <laughs> baptism. And we're fucking smashing it, cut. Let's go. <laughs> Jason Chick, piss you like a like shit. <laughs> and fucking clutch and dust in your ass, cut. Jason, you're Check the <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, Brainy. Fun fact for Eden here. We coached him when he was in year seven. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And now he's on the piss. He was fucking shit at cricket. I can tell you. <laughs> 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 but I tell you what, weapon of a bloke ran into him the other day. There was a lot of culties down there. Um, it was fucking awesome. Like, it was such a good vibe down there the other day. So, um, yeah, big shout out to Brainy. Make sure you're at most home games, mate. Or... I don't know. Start playing footy again, mate. Just keep sinking piss with the Jeeves, boys. Yeah, it's great. Absolutely. All right. We'll Get into position. It's my strong hand. Yeah, go, guys. Uh, I just saw me in the same thing. Uh, back at it, walking across the story bridge. Uh, I just want to say, you know, congrats on uh, 10 k followers. That's bloody amazing. Thank you, Shortbridge. Uh, but also, congrats on uh, having potentially the worst rugby union football team uh, on planet Earth. In, uh, in Ashgrove, no, it's called Ashgrove, uh, up of the lorries, boys, and uh, yeah, don't think the sheets and give them heaps, you beauty. Look, if you're still talking about school football when you're out of school football, you obviously didn't do as much as you thought you should have done and succeeded with uh, during your times at school. I love your strawberries and cream fiend. But also, uh, three words for you. You're wearing purple. Yeah. <laughs> you're wearing purple. <laughs> literally. You're literally wearing purple. You were born and your parents went, how can I bully my child yeah. by not just naming them something shit? Send them to a school and let them wear purple for eight years. For anyone who didn't go to like the school we went to or was in any of the accompanying schools, there's a school in Brisbane called St. Lawrence's and they wear a purple uniform. And at every single sports <laughs> carnival that we went to in the whole of high school, every time their school got up and did a chant, every other school would stand up and face him and just go, you're wearing purple. When you've got... Seven You're other fucking schools purple. going against you. You know that. It was such, just, yeah. such good shit house. It was right. so yeah. funny. We, we got a talking to at school. Remember in grade yeah. 12 or something like you're not allowed to pay them out for wearing purple shirts. I'd, I'd just like <laughs> to um, also, while we're on that then, 
Quick shout out to the mighty MCA six. Yeah. Um, hit us up during the week. The Lorries fifths that they played against were getting NRL players to shout them out and wish them luck against Ashgrove. So um, they got me yeah, to give them obviously. a shout out as, as their ammunition against obviously. them, which incredibly weird flex, but I think it might have um, absolutely rocked the Lorries boys that they got someone that they didn't know existed yeah. because um, the six went out and beat the fifths 39 nil. Um, and so you're still congratulations purple. to you boys You beat those people that wear purple And you got to laugh at them about it as well So um, yeah But strawberries and cream fan I'll see you in a few weeks when we first see us It'll be good Hello boys It's the cop gobbler here She's back Just walking home from the valley I have a um, Just a quick fun fact for you So you know when you brush your teeth and then you take a sip of, like, water. That's the cold version. Oh, spicy! Is your mind blown? Because mine is. Enjoy that fun fact. <laughs> Bye! Yep, that's my mind blowing up on camera. <laughs> cold version of spicy. So, yeah. so pretty much water after you've had mint. Like, yeah, yeah, it's cold version yeah. of spicy. Wow. There you go. Uh, the more you know. She's not wrong. She's right. That's the whole point. <laughs> <laughs> it's a my fact. mind was blown. It's a fun fact. The sensation in my mouth is blown. Everything's blown. Moving, Moving on. on. <laughs> <laughs> right, hello, boys, on the uh, Blue Wing Beers podcast. Hello, mate. So, uh, your local Gatton farm boy here. Fuck yeah, Gatton. Just uh, ringing in from a Telstra free phone up in Toowoomba. Just want to know, bit of a king of the orcs, actually. Ooh. What's your go-to karaoke song up at the cube? Nowhere else but the cube. Specifically. You know, they they got a good list going there. Um, <laughs> no, I had some fucking belters going out tonight. Just want to know what your favourite is. Um, don't piss a sheet, give them heaps, jeeps in your cheeks, and fuck West End. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought that was quite fitting. Was quite West fitting. End, that's yeah. so good. The last time Eden was on, West End yeah, was someone of the week. Yeah, that was the West End party. Yeah. Gatton Farm Boat, go say g'day to my mum at uh, Hullabaloo Bazaar on Railway Terrace there. She'd yeah. um, love for you to go say g'day. Mine at the is, uh, IGA. Mine, my Cube-specific uh, favourite karaoke song, and this is going to be a niche joke that probably only the three of us and four other people understand, is yeah. Numb Encore by <laughs> 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 J.C. and Lincoln Park. Fuck yeah. Mine, mine's Mr. Brightside. Yeah. yeah. Mine would be Sweet Caroline, which I performed twice. <laughs> yeah, once with it. One, once yeah, once, once where the audience was incredibly captivated the second time. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk Eden drags me back up and the exact same people uh, that I'd sung it to 20 minutes <laughs> earlier were there listening to it again. Sweet Caroline. It was, it was great. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> I love it. Shout out to Gatton. Yeah. Lovely place. We love Gatton. We're nearly at the end. Fuck. Yeah, g'day boys, it's the Wavel Heights wanker here. Feeling a little bit slim dusty after a live music event last night, which brings me to ask the question, what is the best live act you have ever seen? Ooh. I'll go first. Nero, Park Life, River by Night, F one eleven screaming over nine thousand people absolutely peaking and the fireworks blowing everyone's lid off. Anyway, cheers and cheeks. Give them heaps. And uh, don't piss the cheeks. Cheers. Mine's probably Porter Robertson. Oh, oh, dude. Tough ones. Um, R.L. Grime. First thing that comes to mind for me is R.L. Grime oh, in well. Vegas. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Okay, weird flex. But that, okay. was, <laughs> that was just sick because we paid 40 bucks and got in for three hours. Yeah, that's insane. But we thought we got such a ripper deal, but we were also paying $20 a drink mm. yeah. at least. Still, um, probably balanced out. The a bit. Killers was yeah, really good. Killers were awesome. Um, I reckon but Pendulum Pop. were awesome. Oh yeah. A couple of years ago, they, when they toured Brisbane, that was really good. Uh, was that on like? Was that it was on like a Tuesday? Yeah, at the Tivoli. That was four like, years ago actually. It was Soccer World Cup because I went home and covered it for work afterwards. Um, <laughs> <laughs> another really good one is Coldplay. If you've seen Coldplay, Ooh, I've never before. seen Coldplay. I came back from schoolies for a night to see Coldplay at Suncorp. It was insane. That would have been awesome. A real um, left field one here. Our first stereo we went to, probably the best act. It was two acts actually that day that really stood out to me. Crookers. Yeah. Yeah. That was fucking sick. Where we met Braveheart. 
Yeah. And then there was the then guy. We saw that him was, again. Yeah. And then we saw him again at uh, a festival. Future. Future yeah. Mm. But we, like, there was people just that fuck doing like the worm in the bark. In bark and had yeah, chip bark in their face. So um, but show tech. Yeah. At the same one. That was insane. They were so good. But um, EDM wise, probably RL Grime for me. And then just a normal band. Um, oh, the Killers or ACDC a few years ago. It's probably yeah. Killers. Yeah. Prodigies out there as well. Oh yeah, RIP. Um, I don't know if this is double up it is, I think. Yeah, g'day boys. Yeah. So G'day, Classy, Darthole. It's the Susie Wong dribbler here. I'm here with your two best mates. I'm with uh the Bundy dribbler, Salo. Can I cut the uh, fucking mud is flowing from the Bundy dribbler. <laughs> the mud has never clogged the nose and it will. But anyway, give him heat. I'm also here with the milk hunter. Say hello. Glossy, mate. Go me a rum. <laughs> Jeeps in your cheeks. Fuck East. Bunch of gay cunts. I love Jeeps. Hoo-ha. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I think the, uh, the milk... Like Saturday night. Yeah. Right? The milk hunter and the Bundy dribbler are probably two of the most fucked people getting around. Apparently yeah. Bundy still can't talk properly because of, of his, his lip. Yeah. His lip injury. He got hit by a, hit by a hockey, hockey stick, stick and completely like separated his lip, his lip. It's disgusting. The photos are fucked. And his missus said that the doctor came up to him and was like... You need plastic surgery. You need plastic surgery. How concerned are you with your looks? <laughs> he was like, not really. <laughs> <laughs> On your Bundy. Yeah, hey boys, it's Angry Ranger and the Chainsaw here. Uh, you want to say good day, Chainsaw? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good chat, good footy. <laughs> hey, I'm wondering, uh, what's your favourite sledge or thing to yell out to the ref at the footy? Uh, mine's, uh, they've been doing it all day, ref. <laughs> uh, let me know. Your boy. Favorite sl- sledge oh. to yell at the Mine in recent years is cynical. That is cynical, <laughs> sir. <laughs> and then followed up by he's been doing it all day. It's yeah. cynical. I think uh, his eyes are fucking painted yeah. on. Get, get him, get him on side. Get him on side. Depends how many beers you've got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. you think you're so funny, and then yeah. there's like families around you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Good to hear from the chainsaw again, though. <laughs> been a while. Ooh. Hey, boys. Concrete Cowboy here. As you guys know, I'm struck down with the spicy cough. R&D. Apologies for not being at the run um, this afternoon. Uh, just uh, following on with uh, my um, Good Friday trying to buy alcohol um, story. <laughs> what about when uh, you know there's a public holiday Monday, for example, today, if you're recording today, and um, everyone just goes crazy at the supermarket the night before. It's like the world's going to end. Yep. Um, obviously, I can't go get my groceries. That um, someone got them for me this afternoon, and the lineup was just ridiculous. Um, Woolworth Ashgrove, shout out. Anyway, boys, cheeks in your cheeks and give meat. Hopefully, down there for a run soon. Cheers, bye. Fucking oath, concrete cowboy, but you do it's bring it's, it's ridiculous how fucking stupid people go before. Yep. Any of that sort of shit. Like, I went to the shops yesterday, Arvo, and it was just fucking packed. Yeah, it's why? Like, Funniest thing was today seeing people rock up thinking, will this be open? And then yeah. just being very <laughs> disappointed. To be fair, that was, I didn't go, but that was me. I was meant to do my groceries today. I, d- so. I did a little bit of Googling yesterday, and the only one that was open was um, the airport DFO, yeah. Woolies. Would have been I really packed. wanted to go just to really get a, a feel for the atmos. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I went to the dump today. Fuck, there's some people there, I tell you that. For free. The dump every day. We on again. Legit? No, I don't. I was say. Yeah, I think there's one more. Potentially two. It's really hard to tell. Thank you. Really annoying how it turns off the volume. I'm Tully in Malay here. Don't have a nickname yet. Hi, oh. more cars. Ken- general cunts, actually, sorry. Just uh, calling you from a free phone. Mm. Um, uh, finish up at the Wolf Alice concert. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. Oh, Song of the night was not Bobby because they didn't play it. Oh, um, but anyway, our question is: We like to ask this question to all our friends when they're drunk. If you had to vote one person out of your group, like it's Survivor, <laughs> who would you vote out? <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, give them heaps. Don't piss the sheets. <laughs> Love you, boys. Ooh. That's such a fucked question. That's so good. Okay. Oh. <laughs> one person out of the group. It's the last froth as well. Um, Saddle Club, Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to think about that. Nah, because I know it's going to fuck him all. 
That's my reasoning. I would not be the first one. Yeah. Like, like, it'd be so good as well because then Jackson would then go on and say why everyone else should be kicked out before him and then it just re-solidifies that you're a shit bloke. Might have been one of the... And that's why I'm looking at the camera when I say that, Jackson. Might have been one of the Sydney boys for fucking living in Sydney. Yeah, yeah that's fair, so chat. fair. Um, and then, fuck our other group chat, Bordy. Just because oh. it's fun to pick up Ryan. Oh, brutal. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't know. That's too tough. I like all of my friends, so yeah, I don't want to vote any of them off. You're just a really nice guy. I don't know if I'd go that far, <laughs> but it'd be tough. But that's the froths for this week. Maybe if you're out and about this weekend, play that game and let us know how it goes. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I'd just like to say, yes, it is tough, but there's a reason why they're asking the hard questions. Okay, like well, I'd, push vote, I'd vote you off then. Yeah, fair. <laughs> That's fine. I spent enough time with you. I don't need you in the group chat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fuck no. <sighs> um, yeah. Right, I well, think this is episode... That note, with that, see ya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is episode 94, so I'm going to cut the clip up this week. So we need to say right now, Cam Munster, we've been calling you out since episode... Fuck all, like episode 15 or something, even less. I'm pretty sure, sure 13. pretty sure the first time I came on the podcast was the first time that you yeah, said yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone found it. Early hours. W- years yeah. ago. Yep. Where we've been saying it for weeks and weeks and weeks. Episode 100, Cam Munster is going to be on the podcast. So if you're watching this clip right now, fucking tag him in it. Send it to everyone in your contact list. Let's get... Cam wants his attention. Let's get him on the podcast. Fucking oath, Cameron. We've been wanting this and waiting for this for so long. We and, need this. Uh, yeah, we need it, frankly, because if this doesn't happen, well, we look like a bunch of dumb ca- uh, <laughs> Blokes. Uh, idiots. Blokes. Like. <laughs> you, you know where we're going with that, though. Um, See your magic around, Cameron. Yeah. Yeah. Clutzy's a big Storm fan as well, so. I'll. I'll I promise I won't be too weird. <laughs> it's hard, but... <laughs> I promise I won't be too weird. I know there's a lot of people that tag you in stuff, and then I, don't, I actually don't know how, like, sports players would deal with that. They'd There'd be a lot of weird cats that message them and be... Oh, I reckon they just they just don't like re- like mm. their inbox would just be full of a million things. Maybe they pay someone to manage yeah. it for them. Yeah. In saying that, Cameron Munster, please respond. Yeah, yeah in saying that, fucking, I don't know, throw us a line, we'll throw you a line and... Mm, poor choice of words. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Gosh. Thanks for listening to this week's podcast, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week. <laughs> Give me heaps, James, and cheeks. We love you, Cameron. Please leave that in. Please leave that, that is in. So funny. Please leave that. In.